Hi guys, welcome to Car Click 101. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the 2023 Gili Esguera with a white collar. Gili is young in the Philippines but very promising. And if you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified of my upcoming car reviews and other car videos. The Gili Esguera has a starting price of 1,788,000. This is a compact SUV segment with a 1.5 liter turbocharged 3 cylinder. DOHC with a hybrid 48 volt EMS. The hybrid system makes the car run efficiently and lowers its fuel consumption. It can produce a 190 horsepower and 300 newton meter torque. It is a 7 speed wet dual clutch transmission with a 4 wheel drive drivetrain. It has a dimension of 4.5 by 1.8 by 1.7 meters. It has a sharp dynamic appearance with muscle lines create a sense of power and impact. So here's the overview of the front and Geely named this design the Leaping Cat. It is an expanding cosmos grille with the shape of Geely's logo. It is a camera under the emblem. Its fascia has a bolder design with four sensors in the front. These large vents enhance the SUV's aerodynamic performance. Its headlights, the eye of the cat, have a full LED with auto headlamps and daytime driving light. This car has power side mirrors with power fold. It has a built-in puddle lamps and side turn signal. Its door handle is surrounded by metallic silver color and white at the center with a small hollow for the thumb to fit in and have an easy grip. This is a keyless entry system. On the lower side of the door, there's a black and silver garnish which makes the design sharper and more dynamic. Let's go to the back. Its spoiler has an aerodynamic design with a brake light at the center and it has a shark fin shaped antenna at the top. Here's the overview of its rear mirror. It has a rear wiper for rainy days. Its rear lights are full LED with its logo on the side. It looks so cool. At the center, it has a silver metallic design with its engraved name Gilly and under is where the rear camera is located with the plate lights on the side. Its bumper has rear fog lights with reverse lights. It has two exhaust and four sensors. This gear has 18-inch aluminum wheels with a V design combination of gray and silver color. It has a ventilated disc brake at the front and a Mac person strut suspension. At the rear, it has a disc brake and multi-link rear suspension. Now let's go to the trunk. Its trunk has a space worth 320 liters of cargo, so you can put a lot of things in here. On the left side, there is a power outlet. There's also a hook here beside. You can put a hanger here or a rope if you have things you need to tie. And on the right side, there's a light to help you find your things at night or in dark places. And just at the top of that, there's a speaker with a G logo cover. Same on the left side. At the trunk cover, here you can see the switch to close the trunk. It will close automatically. And next to it is the trunk cover handle where you can have a good grip. Now let's go to the front interior. Here's the overview of the dashboard. Wow, my mouth is dripping. I need to get a towel. Here is the passenger side door. It is a combination of brown leather design. Gives you comfort when your arm rests on it. And above, there's a brown gray finish design. It is a long door handle for easy grip when closing the door in line with its doorknob. And below is a speaker with a G logo cover. So unique. And at the side is where you put your water bottle or other things. And there is a light here. I think this helps you see the ground when it's dark. Here's the driver's side door interior. Its window switch has a metallic design. The side mirror controls are also located here. Below are the trunk switch and the speaker. The driver's seat adjustment is electronic. Here's the air vent on the driver's side. Below is the high-low headlight switch. And on the right side, there is a phone storage. Here's the steering wheel with the audio controls on it. The Escara has a 7-inch LCD instrument panel where you can see the speed, odometer, and at the center, there are two air vents and below is a 12.3-inch HD infotainment panel. That's a wide screen and this you can view movies, music, safety settings, and more. Below are the AC controls but you can also control the AC on the infotainment panel. Next is the transmission handle. The P button is the parking button. On the left side is a switch for the cruise control. The HDC switch which limits your downhill speed. The help parking system switch is also located here and the 360 view switch. The circular knob is the drive mode selector. You can choose from echo mode, sport mode, four wheel drive and other modes. On the right side are the electronic parking switch, 
and the auto hold switch. Next is a cup or ashtray holder with a sliding cover and here is the console with a cooling system. You can put your drinks here and stay cold. There is a handlebar here where you can hold if you encounter bumpy roads. At the top it has a wide rear view mirror and here are the cabin lights with a sunroof switch so this has a glass sunroof. It also has sunglass storage. Now let's go to the back. Here's the back door interior, same design as the front door passenger side. Its seats are all Nepal leather. The design is smooth and elegant. At the top, there are cabin lights. At the side of the back seat, there is a storage at the side. At the back of the console, there are two air vents and two USB ports below. For me, this Gera is a step toward a future car. It has a hybrid control system. It has the features that you need from safety, cruise control, driving assistance, comfort, and others. This is a great car. I'm going to review other Geely cars. Be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell to be updated on my upcoming car reviews and other car videos.